Under France's social and political system, the old regime, the people of France were divided into three large social classes, the first, second, and third estates. The first estate consisted of the clergy, from rich to poor. There were very wealthy abbots, members of the aristocracy, who lived in luxury off of wealthy church lands. This estate lived off the labor of the third estate. There were poor parish priests, who lived much like the peasants. These parish priests served the religious needs of their people and received few rewards. There were many bishops and pastors who knew that they had unfair privileges. The next estate accounted only for 2% of France's population, the second estate. Made up of the nobility, they inherited their titles and got their wealth from 20% of France's land that they owned. Some members of the nobility had little money, but had all the privileges of noble rank. However, most enjoyed both privileges and wealth. The second estate were exempt from many forms of taxation. This exemption from paying taxes led to their reluctance to reform. France's last estate was the third estate. The third estate, the common people, was by far the largest group in France. Three groups made up this estate, the bourgeoisie, the workers, and the peasants. Everyone who was not a member of the first or second estates was a member of the third. It included wealthy merchants, whose wealth rivaled that of the nobility, doctors and lawyers, shopkeepers, the urban poor, and the peasants who worked the land. Peasants paid more than half of their income in dues to nobles, tithes to the church, and taxes to the king's agents. The clergy and nobles were deeply resented by them for their special treatment. The disconcerted, heavily taxed third estate was eager for a change. And as inferred from my narration, the idea of three estates didn't work out too well. There were a lot of disadvantages between three estates. The first and second estates lived a comfortable life full of riches due to the third estate. They had to do all the labor. They had to work hard to pay all the taxes. The taxes they paid were sometimes more than what they even earned. This made the society have big differences between each estate. Wealthy people lived in luxury, while some members of the third estate starved. In addition, there were also differences between the clergy and the first estate. The high officials never worked and lived in luxury, while the lower officials, such as priests, had to work hard to receive less than what the high-ranked officials ever received.